Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at how to work with our data logging and looking at our knock control to evaluate if we have a valid knock going on or if we have a bunch of noise and we need to go in and deal with the knock sensitivity tables so we can either raise them uh, or leave them alone and evaluate again what's going on as we're doing our initial timing tuning or evaluating how our vehicle's running uh, based on the gas we're using or other kind of factors. So first I'm going to do here is jump into a calibration file. We'll be opening up a K24 supercharge example. This was a 11 to 1 compression. It was on E85. It had a Crackworks kit. Uh, we were running about 16 to 18 pounds of boost, making about 550 wheel on this application. So this is going to be the corresponding calibration file. Now, I began tuning the vehicle, and I had, if we jump in here, my knock sensitivity tables. These were left stock. So if we open up a base calibration file, if we jumped up in here, we picked any of these calibration files, and we began... We created the base map like I showed in the previous videos, and uh, we haven't updated our knock sensitivity tables, which I suggest that you don't touch until you begin tuning, and then you can evaluate it based on what I'm showing you in this video here. Um, I started with my knock sensitivity tables stock, or the way that Honda a file has them set. And that's going to be substantial because we're going to be looking at what we can do to evaluate if it's real knock or fake knock, and kind of go about tackling these tables if we need to. If we see that our knock count just seems to be excessively high, it doesn't seem to be accurate. So let's jump in here. So I'm going to be taking a look here at our first data log and making a little bit of sense of this so you can uh, see what's going on. So under graph here, I have my knock control uh, in my, my template here uh, set up. If we jump into our options here into graph templates, I'm going to quickly evaluate this. If you did not follow along, to the uh, template videos we're setting everything up, we can see that our template here is called knock control. I've added RPM in black, map here in blue, knock ignition limit here in red, knock control in green, knock retard in blue, knock level, purple, knock threshold, teal, knock count in black. This gives you all of the data that you need to evaluate when you're looking at knock control. We're going to be taking a look at how this works again right now so you can evaluate your data log and better understand what this knock count is doing and if it's valid or not. So what I'm going to do is close and now I'm going to be opening up my data log here and let's jump into our advanced logging video here and we're going to be looking at our low sensitivity table. Now what we're going to be seeing as I open this up here we have to make a couple changes. First thing is here you can see knock count is in black and we can see that it's off the chart here it's already counted to 83 we need to raise the threshold on our settings here. So 